We're going to take a look now at the different equations of a parabola, uh, specifically of a quadratic relationship, um, and what type of information you can find from them. And this table, I think, will be really helpful for that. There are three forms of an equation for a quadratic relationship and for a parabola. One is vertex form, and that's the orange. The second one is standard form, the middle green section. And the third is the intercept form or factored form, uh, which is in blue. Okay, and I'll just also write factored form up here just in case. Okay, so factored form or intercept form uh, of the quadratic equation. So let's look at each one of these three uh, forms of the quadratic equation and determine the type of information that we can get from them. So if we look at the vertex form, the orange column specifically, uh, I really like the vertex form because I think it gives us the most information out of all of them. And so the vertex form is what we started working with in the previous unit in quadratics one, and we've just continued to build on it now in quadratics two. So the vertex form of the equation is y is equal to a times, in brackets, x minus h, all squared, plus k. Okay. Uh, and so there's an example that's up here. Uh, and so one of the great things that we can find out here from this is that uh, in this particular example, the one that we have exclusively in the orange section, uh, is that the a value uh, is given to us right off the bat. So in this case, the a value is negative 0 0.5, okay? So we can determine what the step value is for it. Okay? It will also tell us whether or not the direction of opening is going up or down. Uh, and so in this case, because the a value is a negative value, we know that the direction of opening is heading down for this particular example. If we want to figure out the vertex, we can get that from the hk values. Well, in this case, uh, in the example equation, and again, this is the example equation that I keep coming back to, um, we know that the h value is actually going to be negative 3, and the k value is 6. So the vertex is actually at negative 3, 6 in this particular parabola. The k value, that's the y coordinate of the vertex, uh, we can get that uh, based either on the vertex or the fact that it's simply the k value. And so in this particular example, the k value is positive 6. Okay. Uh, the, the vertex is not particularly helpful very quickly in order to figure out what the y-intercept is or what the zero is, um, but it will give us the axis of symmetry. And in this case, the axis of symmetry happens when, at the h value, which is negative 3. So when x is equal to negative 3, that is the coordinate of the axis of symmetry. So when x is equal to negative 3, that's where we have uh, the axis of symmetry. So the vertex form is really, really useful in terms of figuring out a bunch of information. It'll give you the step, it'll give you the direction of opening, the vertex, whether or not it's a min or maximum value, it'll give you the optimum value, and it will give you the axis of symmetry straight away. So you can get most information out of the vertex form. In the middle here, we have the standard form of the equation. And the standard form of the equation uh, is, again, relatively useful. Uh, and again, the reference that I'm going to keep coming back to uh, is this example here, specifically for standard form. So in standard form will give you the, the a value or the step, okay? And so for us, the a value happens to be positive two. And so it'll also give us the direction of opening because in this instance, the a value is a positive number. We know that this particular parabola would be opening up. In the standard form alone, uh, it doesn't tell us what the vertex is. It doesn't tell us what the min or max value is, what the optimum value is. What it does tell you, however, is the C value, the y-intercept. And so the y-intercept is always this C value. So in this case, the y-intercept is happening at positive 12. Okay, and that's why the standard form is so useful, because it gives you the y-intercept straight away. The last example that I want to take a look at is actually looking at the factored or intercept form of a quadratic relationship. And again, uh, factored or intercept form of a quadratic relationship. I'll refer to this uh, as my uh, set of examples. So it will tell you what the a value is again. And so in this case, the a value is positive 3 because it's a positive number. 
we know that this particular parabola would be going up. The reason why uh, intercept form is so useful is that it will allow you to figure out what the axis of symmetry is. So in uh, it will figure out what the zeros are, and so our zeros are actually positive 5 and negative 3. And so if we wanted to figure out what the axis of symmetry is for this particular example, we would just do 5 plus negative 3 all divided by 2. So that would give us 2 over 2, 1. So the axis of symmetry is when x is equal to 1. Okay. So all three forms of the quadratic uh, formula uh, will allow us to figure, or all three equations for the parabola will help us to figure out different pieces of information. What will be important for us to note is that is determining what piece of information or what equation will give us what piece of information.